Good morning students of class 10. Welcome back to the E classes now. Let us continue our lesson in geography. Now we are doing agriculture and today we have reached the last portion of our chapter. Now here impact of globalization on agriculture. So we we'll talked about this title and the last portion. In our previous class we have learned that most of the people are uh, farmers in the rural areas and year by year the agricultural land is getting smaller and smaller due to the division of land among the children and uh, due to urbanization due to construction of infrastructures and so on so as the population is rising so the indian farmers find it very difficult to cope or manage to produce sufficient amount of food grains to feed the growing population of India. And not only that, we need to export. We need to export to earn foreign exchange. So in the international market and for that you have to be very, very competitive. You must grow quality food products. You must grow quality products. So in this way, the farmers, they find it very challenging. So now here today we'll talk about the remaining portion. A few Indian economists, a few Indian economists think that the Indian farmers have a bleak future. Bleak means miserable, difficult, dark future. Why? As the land holdings are growing smaller in size. As the land holdings are growing smaller and smaller in size due to the division of land among the children. So that is the culture in our country we have. So as the land, the land holdings of the farmers or families are growing smaller in size as the population rises. As the population rises, the land is getting smaller and smaller and the demand for food grain rises as the population rises. So it will be very difficult to balance, to match. So, we know very, uh, various reasons for the land becoming smaller for construction of infrastructure as I have already told you for urbanization and as well as division of land among the children and as the population rises it becomes more and more complicated or difficult. So now you can see Indian farmers, number two, Indian farmers should, they should diversify their cropping pattern diversify their cropping pattern. They must adopt modern technology. They must uh, adopt scientific farming. Then only you can grow more from the limited area of land. So you can see they must diversify their cropping pattern from cereals to high value crops. From growing rice, growing wheat and cereal crops to high value crops high value crops for home, for the country, home means the country and the international market so that they can earn much more so that they, they can increase their income. So these high value crops will increase their income, definitely it will increase their income as well as their living standard will rise. They can invest that profit in uh, developing or in uh, farming more they can purchase farming tools they can invest money in certain projects so these high value crops will increase their income increase their income means development they can invest in the farm inputs so they increase their income and reduce not only that reduce environmental degradation at the same time simultaneously they can help to restore the ecological balance as well as the environmental balance so you can see you will have double benefits one side on one hand you will increase your income other on, on the other side you will reduce the environmental degradation so it has two benefits you will not harm the environment because these fruits, medicinal crops, vegetables, biodiesel crops, biodiesel crops, from these plants you can uh, uh, 
uh, create or you can produce fuels for cars, buses, biodiesel like Jatropha. Here is a plant named Jatropha and Jojoba. From these plants you can create or you can produce biodiesel. Now it is already, uh, it has started. This program has already started so that we can uh, less, we can depend less on the mineral uh, fuel. So because fruits, medicinal crop, vegetables and biodiesel are, are high value crops, they are in great demand in the market like Jojo, Jatropha and Jojoba. These are the plants that uh, produces biodiesel. They need much less irrigation. These plants, they need less irrigation and care than rice and sugarcane. Rice you require a lot of water. Sugarcane also require a lot of water during its growth. So naturally these plants they require less water. So it will reduce their uh, inputs. It will reduce their uh, dependence on the rain or uh, an irrigation. So it will save some money. So India's diverse climate in India, we have very diverse climate. We have different types of climate at different regions. Local climates are uh, uh, various types of local climates. So, India's diverse climate can be harnessed, can be used for the benefits, can be harnessed to grow a wide range of high value crops. So, here in India, we can grow high value crops if we uh, if we uh, know what crops to grow in certain areas or if the farmers are taught to grow certain crops at certain season or certain areas. So the farmers need to be aware of these things and for this the government should step in to teach the farmers so that they could grow high value crops according to the climate and the nature of the soil or nature of the landforms. So in this way it will help the farmers to increase their income as well as protect the environment. So in this way India's diverse climate can be used to grow various type of high value crops for our country as well as for the international market. So that's all. That's the end of the chapter. Now we have finished this chapter. Now we'll go to the another chapter later in our next week. So that's all for today. Thank you for your presence and your attention. So only thing you need to go to the online portal every time so that you will not miss anything. You can copy the points after taking the screenshots. If you are wise enough, you can do that. If you are really interested in learning, you can take the screenshot and copy the notes every time. It doesn't take much time as well. So you can invest this much time in your studies. So that's all for today. And uh, we'll meet in the next class. Thank you very much.